and welcome to Riding with Duck. So we are getting really close to the two-year anniversary of my start of YouTube. And since I started, I've managed to build for you 104 videos, including this one. And I felt like I needed to spend a little bit of time talking about how I got here. So with that being said, I just wanted to spend a few minutes and tell you a little story. I feel like giving you a little more background will help you sometimes understand the videos that I make and maybe shed a little light on why I do what I do. So that being said, let me take you back just a little bit with this journey and tell you that growing up, I spent a lot of time not socializing. I was a very quiet kid all the way through high school and junior high, and I didn't spend a lot of time with the group. I definitely would have considered myself an introvert, and as a young child, I spent Saturdays inside watching cartoons and TV, and I had a few neighborhood childhood friends that I spent time with and I grew up, but I wasn't very social. My sister, on the other hand, was the socialite, and I uh, was definitely the introvert. So, as you can probably assume, building a YouTube channel and spending time in front of the camera wasn't really me. And so two years ago, I had a horrible time with this interaction. And it was really hard for me to talk to the camera because I, there was something in the back of my head that said, this is not a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your buddy and it's going to get looked at by hundreds of thousands of people. So uh, I, I th it was always in the back of my head and it messed with me and there was always that little guy on your shoulder that would say, you know, this is not going to be a good video or people aren't going to like it, people aren't going to watch it. So starting out with my YouTube channel, this was a really hard beginning. Now growing up being the camera guy was really easy for me and I had a camera since I was way little. I think I probably started at like eight with my first camera and I was taking pictures of everything. But the one really nice thing about being the camera guy is that you are behind the camera and not the subject of the pictures. And so my first 10 years of pictures and photo albums are a lot of the family or the friends and the relationships that you have and almost never are you in the pictures because as the camera guy you didn't really turn the camera around and take pictures of yourself that's just not what you were interested in so that worked out really well for me and I had the ability to hide behind the camera for a very long time and I think part of the reason that I took up photography was that talking to people and sharing information in myself was pretty awkward for me. I was a fish out of water. I was definitely not the comfortable talking to strangers and new people or people I wanted to meet, celebrities, that kind of stuff. I was really bad at trying to talk to people that I didn't already have a relationship with or a nice solid foundation with so that I would have something to talk about. And I just really spent time trying to figure out how to build 
a baseline of communication so that I could talk to somebody that I had never talked to before. I had a hard time because I had low to no self-esteem. Life for me was lived in a box with a very small group of people in my circle. And anxiety and self-doubt were a large part of my demons. Part of what I really love about riding a cafe-style motorcycle is that there is very little interaction time. Most of your riding is done at a high rate of speed, through the corners. You ride where you're going, you turn around and you ride straight back and you're done for the day. That was very comfortable for me and I was very much in my element and I had a great time because it was the motorcycle and I with very little interaction. The hard part for me is that I am an introvert on the inside, <laughs> but my soul wants to be an extrovert. And so part of putting this channel together and doing the video for you guys is the chance for me to get out of my shell and express desires and emotions and happiness for the art of riding motorcycles. And one of the wonderful things about being a motorcyclist is that it is so easy to make friends. When you buy a Harley Davidson motorcycle, that motorcycle comes with a group of friends <laughs> because, let's face it, you can't go out and ride your motorcycle around and not run into somebody who wants to talk to you about your motorcycle or what it's like to ride or they have a cousin that rides a motorcycle or their boyfriend rides a motorcycle or their girlfriend rides a motorcycle or they're part of the hog chapter or they just want to spend time telling you about their experience on the motorcycle and how fantastic it is to ride with a group and a bunch of people that genuinely love what you love and the reason I started this channel is to share with you what I love because my Harley has definitely changed my life but I definitely didn't make this change on my own Although, I'm the one that made the choice to head in a different direction. So the reason I started a YouTube channel was because I spent a bunch of time doing research on the lifestyle and the possibilities that a motorcycle channel could bring me. And I ran into lots of people that were living their dreams, sharing their adventures, and building their channels all about their love for motorcycles and how that channel gave them the ability to live out their dreams. And if it wasn't for three or four really special channels, I don't know that I would have started a YouTube channel. So I wanted to spend a few minutes and share with you three or four of the YouTube channels that have made a huge difference in my life. So I just want to share a quick channel or two that I think you would really enjoy. And the first channel is the two lane life and the two lane life has three main characters on the channel and it's Galen, Lance and Josh which is their camera guy who has moved from 
less camera and moved into a little more spotlight. And these guys are fantastic. They live in California and they travel all over and they share their adventures with their viewers. And if you've ever wanted to visit California or ride in California or learn more about California, these guys are the experts for sure. And they're a really fun show to watch. And on a side note, they also have begun to open their own internet motorcycle part supply. So if you are thinking about some accessories for your motorcycles, uh, handlebars, risers, seats, and if you're interested in some accessories from these guys, check them out. They are very good on service and will take good care of you. And you can find them at TulaneLife.com. And they have a really nice website that's easy to work through. If you missed any of this information, I will make sure to put in links in the comments so that you can access their information easily. So, all right, and then the next one uh, is a fairly new ad to my favorites, and his channel on YouTube is The Adventures of the Bearded Bobber, and he spends most of his time talking about Indian motorcycles. His channel is all about Indian motorcycles and reviews for accessories and Indian products and he does a phenomenal job and he's got a ton of information his videos are very clear and precise and if you're into Indians you want to spend a little bit of time over at the adventures of the bearded bobber all right now let me get into the two YouTube channels that changed my life so I've always been interested in cameras since I was way little. And photography has always kind of been in the back of my mind. And I've always enjoyed taking pictures. So it's not too far of a surprise for me that I decided to put the two things together that I love, which is motorcycles and photography. And what pulled me back into photography was Ryan Anderson and his channel The Full Throttle Hog. And Ryan does a phenomenal job of creating short films on his channel. Ryan likes to build what he calls a cinevlog and they are phenomenal. He has a fantastic eye for film. And one of the things that being a YouTuber is all about is creating inspiration for the viewer. And that's exactly what Ryan did for me. Ryan's short films gave me the inspiration to turn around and get back into photography and video and build them into this channel. <laughs> so thanks Ryan, appreciate that. And uh, as we go and grow on this channel, you're gonna get to see more of my video and photography. I just recently switched from using the phone because most of my still pictures were on the phone it was convenient it was easy the quality of the pictures are good I used an iPhone 13 Pro Max and it did very well but enlarging those pictures isn't really an option so the grain and the quality of the picture is really good if you're looking at it on your phone or you know a 
25 or a 35 inch TV but once you start to enlarge those pictures you're gonna get a lot of grain and extra noise in those pictures so most photographers don't use a phone to take their still pictures so for the Arizona bike week trip I ran out and I picked up a new camera that coincidentally is actually what I'm filming this video on so you're gonna get to see a lot more footage and a lot more pictures so stay tuned to all of that but you do not want to miss out on Ryan's short films run over to his channel check out his page subscribe and just sit back relax put some popcorn together and enjoy those videos they are fantastic like I said Ryan has a really good eye for video and photography and last but not least I want to take you back to 2017 when I first bought my brand new Harley Davidson Road Glide Custom and the reason I bought that bike was because I needed to be able to carry stuff when I took a longer trip because the last two previous trips to Sturgis were on my V-Rod <laughs> and the V-Rod is not very good for carrying stuff as you'll get a seat so 2017 I decided to buy a road glide and I bought the road glide because I started to get excited about taking longer trips and I wanted to travel a little bit with the bike and I didn't really realize the connection from YouTube to riding until I got to spend a little bit of time with Adam Sandoval and Adam Sandoval in 2017 was riding across the United States and was visiting every single Harley Davidson in the US and he started this trip and I think he planned on a year and what he discovered was that the more time he spent with everyone the more interested people became in riding motorcycles helping veterans and following his channel and following is exactly what Adam is doing Adam is absolutely following his dreams Adam has spent almost a decade riding his motorcycle for charity Adam dedicates a ton of his time and effort and support to helping our nation's veterans and he is doing that through a fantastic foundation which is the Wounded Warrior Project and last year alone during the Great American Convoy he raised with the help of a lot of bikers and numerous Harley Davidson dealerships Adam managed to raise six hundred thousand dollars for the Wounded Warrior Project and Adam is definitely a philanthropist and it's this dedication and hard work that helped me realize that building this YouTube channel and talking about what motorcycles mean to me so the resolution for this story this video is the hundred and fourth video on this channel and June 2024 will be my two-year anniversary of building videos for you guys I love it I'm enjoying every minute of it I'm glad I get to spend this time sharing my hopes and my dreams with you 
and hopefully you're getting something out of these videos whether it encourages you to buy a motorcycle or it helps you maintain the motorcycle that you have so that you can enjoy it I hope you're getting lots out of this video and I thank you for watching and I just want to leave you with one more thing nothing that is worthwhile comes easy and it's worth every minute and every struggle and every effort to make sure that what you want out of life comes true and you can make that happen nobody's gonna do it for you it's all up to you so get out there and make your dreams come true and if writing is the answer, make sure to come writing with Doug. And we'll see you on the next video. Okay, Arizona Bike Week, Homeless Block. It's just a great place to get out, meet rad people, like running into Tulane here. That's a big deal for me. I love running into these guys. Uh, you know, but the riding, the yeah. riding that Arizona has, if you have not ridden Arizona, Probably think it's all desert flat, and I'm here to tell you it's some of the best riding. What's your favorite ride? I love uh, 89 A up to Jerome. It's just a good ride. I love it.